what's up, Virgo? Thank you guys so much for tuning in. All right, guys, so this is going to be your November spread, so let's hop into it and get right into it. Now, um, I know that I'm posting this a little early, so for those of you that watch it right away and have time to take advantage, uh, just a reminder that I am going to be in New York October 26th and 27th doing meet and greets and uh, reading for people, so if you do want to come and meet me, I'll leave everything in the description, okay? Other than that, Let's get into this, guys, and see what's going on with the sign of Virgo. Okay. What is happening with the sign of Virgo in the month of November? Past, present, future. What is happening for the sign of Virgo? As what would you call a group of Virgos? Besides, it would just be Virgos, right? Like it wouldn't be like Tauruses or like Taurians. Would it be anything else? Virgians. No, I'll stop. Okay. Anyways, just a random freaking call. I didn't sleep too much last night, guys, so I apologize if I'm um, a bit loopy and saying some crazy shit. But let's get into your reading, okay? Okay. Nice. All right, so the energy that you guys have for your reading is the Two of Cups. So, uh, you know, this is going to be an important month for a strong bond that you have to someone. Uh, this could be a strong relationship that you have with a loved one, like a lover, rather. Strong relationship with, you know, family member. This could be a job coming in. This could be, you know, you getting your way in something that you may have been dealing with, like a contract going through in your favor, or maybe uh, a court proceeding going through in your favor, okay? Behind that, we do have the Five of Cups in the reverse. So there's a situation here, possibly with someone uh, promiscuous that you may have been dealing with, where there's a loss that you're getting over, okay? And there's a very strong bond here. Now, let's see how this transpires. The first card that you guys have for your path is the Page of Swords. So with this, there's going to be direct communication happening here. Uh, this could be you guys dealing with uh, a air sign. So this is going to be Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. Okay. And there's direct communication. And, you know, what I love about the Page of Swords is that no matter how difficult a situation can be to relate to somebody else, this is just going to be someone that is not going to beat around the bush. They're going to tell you what it is, how it is. Okay, but whatever is being communicated here, uh, you're doing your best to avoid conflict at all costs. And it could be about a secret that comes out. So that's why there's that need for that direct communication. But whatever came out, it makes you guarded. I'm going to grab that card because I want to come out. And the secret that you found out could have led to you or someone else feeling betrayed. And stuck, feeling stuck in your head, asking, why me? Why did this happen? You know, what what did I do to cause this? Uh, if, if I was different, maybe this would have transpired differently. You know, just all that should have, would have, could have, that anxiety, that being in your head. This will never help the situation, okay? It's just going to cause more stress. But there's something here that you guys felt stuck in. With the Queen of Swords being the last card for your past, it could have been an air sign. You guys are having a very heavy um, air energy here in the past. So it could have been someone, um, again, that was an air sign. But again, this could have been you guarding yourself. After a situation, because the Queen of Swords is somebody who knows how to get business done. But it could also indicate a person that's been scorned, and now it's like they're kind of on edge and just very aware of their surroundings. But there's something here that falls out due to the secret that came out. Because it may have been a very toxic situation. Okay. 
despite the fact that there was a fallout and that this was toxic, I feel that there was talk about it. I don't think that the conversation ended with that, okay? Maybe it was a breakup, maybe it was some sort of fallout, but things are being discussed and there's a sense of trying to build. So maybe this is someone trying to say sorry, trying to reconcile, um, you know, you guys just collectively talking about your, your separate contributions to this situation and how it got here. But then I feel something happens that you realize trying to build with this person and talk to this person or situation may be a waste of time. Okay? Maybe they just don't see it the way you do. Maybe there's just too much conflict of interest here. And with the Seven of Cups in the verse, you're seeing things for what it is. There's definitely a huge change, uh, or shift rather, because in your present moment, the first card you guys have is the Star card. So this is wish fulfillment. This is beautiful things coming in. Something that you're really desiring that does happen for you. Okay, we have the King of Wands here. So for some of you, that's going to be a fire sign that comes in. Real Aries or Sagittarius. Okay. And this could be somebody from the past. Okay, so a blast from the past. Someone that you may have completely stopped talking to. So maybe they just come in out of nowhere okay I'm just I'm sorry guys I'm gonna make a note of that okay sorry anytime I think of an idea of something that should be mentioned at some point in my life I write it down all right now the next card that you guys have here is the three of cups this could be you celebrating that the situation or this person from the past came back in or this could be you, you know, putting yourself in a third party situation. But I really don't think that's the case because there's something that definitely ended here in the past. Yeah, eight of cups. Someone from the past comes in. And this is someone that I feel you guys really missed. You guys have a very similar reading to Leo. Maybe some of you are dealing with Leos. Okay. Now, with the full card in the reverse, over this, you may be looking at a situation, you know, it could be the situation from the past where you're looking at it now and you know that it wasn't worth the risk. You know that it wasn't worth putting time into, okay, especially now that this person is back here. Or it could be this situation possibly being a bad move. But I don't see that. I think that you're so happy that this new opportunity or this new person came or this person from the past came in that you look back and you're like, oh, my God, thank God I ended that, you know, or thank God I left that job. But it's showing that you're able to move forward with passion into this very loving relationship here with the lover's card showing up. All right. And this is something that you're working on and that you're really investing time in. And putting effort into it. and you feel like life is balancing out two of swords so there's definitely a new chapter that's coming in you guys feel very good very content about it but I think there's a part of you that it's like is this too good to be true is this really how I want to move forward? Am I really over the situation from the past? Okay. Yeah, and the person from the past, you know, they could be very upset and emotionally unstable. Or maybe you're upset about the things that transpired because there was a betrayal here in the past. But despite whatever's happening or whatever your feelings are telling you, you're standing your ground. You're going towards a situation that you know is logically going to be best for you. Okay. Now, going into the future, the first card here is the Six of Wands in the reverse. Something that you're not necessarily proud of that occurs. The Chariot card in the reverse. 
So this could be, you know, things that you feel may be out of your control. There's still talks of passion coming in, but things are just happening very, very fast. Let me get one more card here. Page of Pentacles. So there's something that's being built here. It has passion tied to it. It has, you know, longevity tied to it. And it's something that you're doing, but maybe... Maybe what you're building is affecting someone else in a negative way. Or maybe you're just getting a lot of shit from people. From moving on from a situation the way you did. It's something that makes you happy at the end. I just feel that because you guys are rejecting the situation and getting into something new, this is where backlash might come in. Okay. Yeah, this is similar to Leo, because I to the sign of Leo, because there could be a sense here of guilt for being so happy. Okay. But for those of you who were betrayed in the past by this person who comes back in upset that you're happy, please don't feel guilty, especially if they betrayed you. Just move on and be happy. The next card is the strength card in the reverse. A situation requiring extra resiliency. Dealing with someone who may be fake here with the emperor card in the reverse. And feeling lost in the situation. There's something that you're trying to manifest here, but I feel that there's someone who's just there's something from the past. There's something that's like tugging you guys back. Because whatever it is that you're manifesting, whatever it is here that makes you very happy and feel fulfilled, it's coming in. Okay? You guys are shown as a magician. We have the Four of Cups, an offer being accepted, or you guys getting an offer. And the Death Card that's changing your life. So everything here is solid for you. But maybe you just have to deal with a lot of conflict from other people who may not be happy with the path that you're choosing to take. Now, with the world card in the reverse, again, this is dealing with a chapter from the past. Something that should have been closed, but that's not. You know, a sense of unfinished business. You guys have the hangman in the reverse, so you could be slowly moving on from this. And possibly realizing that it was just bad judgment. I feel like you leave something behind in the past. You're celebrating something good in the future. And, I mean, in the present, I'm sorry. And then in the future, it could be a reminder of why you left the past. Because I feel like the chaos is surrounding these two energies. The person or situation from the past. And then the new person or situation in the present. That's what I see colliding here. But the most important thing is, wow, 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 wow. Ace of Cups, Empress, Ace of Pentacles. Say your sorries, do what you got to do, but focus on the future. Okay, there might be someone who's heartbroken here or upset. Okay, but honestly, I see you guys cutting that person out. And realizing it was a waste of time. This is what you guys want to focus on here. This beautiful new beginning that's coming in for you. Alright Virgos. Let's see what your guidance is for this month. Okay. What is the guidance for Virgo? For November... 2017 childhood innocence so this is such a beautiful card because you know with this childhood innocence there's you know there's a certain uh, how do I want to say this 
when we're kids, we're so excited about life. We're so excited about what we want to do, the careers we want to take, the type of person we want to love, the type of house that we want. Okay, and as we grow up and as we go through shit, we just divert. We divert so far away from what that could have been, okay, or what we had wished for ourselves. This is going to be a point where I feel that there's a lot of things happening quickly in your life. You're leaving something behind. You're starting something new. There's not too much of a time gap. Excuse me. Okay. Not too much of a time gap, you know, in between it. And there could be a lot of chaos because towards the end of the spread, although you're very happy, there's a situation happening there that makes you uncertain. So now that you're sitting in a position or you're going to sit in the position or you have sat in this position, depending on when you guys are watching this video, you have to ask yourself, is this going the direction of what it is that I really would want at the core? Because there's just so much chaos and I feel like there's so much noise around that it's hard to hear. Try to regress back to that childhood. Try to regress back to what it was you had expected for yourself in life. If there's ever a time when you're confused, ask yourself, how would the 10 year old version of me feel about this? Would they like what I'm doing right now? Would they hate what I'm doing right now? What's happening? You need to go back to that. You need to remember who you are, your values, where you came from. Okay? Obviously, we're all going to be different from those who raised us. Okay? Some of us are looked at as the bad apples. Some of us, you know, really exceeded for our families. But take everything that you learned, the good things that you learned, and ask yourself if those same morals are still applying in your life. When you go towards something that you really want, is it out of lust? Okay, is it something that could potentially be bad for us? But just the excitement and the lust just gets us so excited, uh, just gets us so excited that we're blinded. Okay, or is this a situation that's truly in accordance with what we want because the problem with forgetting what you want at the core is that this is what's going to be that makes this is going to be what makes you happy okay that childhood dream that that's kind of like your temple in a sense when we forget where we come from when we forget who we are when we forget all the dreams and aspirations that we once had we start following other people's paths. We start following the path of, you know, social media, the path of television entertainment. And we find ourselves feeling like we're drowning, wondering why we're so depressed and why we're so upset and why life isn't the way we want it. And we say things aren't fair. And we say that, you know, we got a really shitty end of the deal here. But you have to ask yourself how far have you strayed from what it is that you need okay because it's it's more of when we grow older that we feel we need like the romantic love of somebody but when we're eight and you know around that age that's that's cooties we're not worried about that so imagine you still looked at it as cooties okay something that can't hurt you just yet which direction do you want to go in okay and another big thing too guys you know, we're bringing, because just anything around childhood right now I'm going to bring up, especially in the dating world. And as a parent, this is something that I see all the time. If you ever bring someone into your house and your child off the bat, upon meeting this person, does not like them, you have to listen to that. Children are the most intuitive, smartest beings ever. And they, they catch on to things, you know, that sometimes we're too blind to see because we, we put this wall up. Look at people and situations through the eyes of a child. Okay, that's why I feel blessed to have my little guy because he, he's like my moral radar sometimes. But you guys are doing well. I see you going towards something that makes you happy. But there's a place of question. And what my ultimate thing is, what is it that's going to truly make you happy? Don't be stressed out because someone's upset with you. Don't be stressed out because this person expected this certain thing from you and you weren't able to deliver because you found something that was better. 
In certain situations, you have to be selfish, okay? And you can't beat yourself up for a circumstance that you can't change. All right, guys? So with that said, the next set of readings I'm going to bring out is your love readings. But until then, for those who do want personal readings, it takes me anywhere from 5 to 10 days to get it back to you. Um, I record it on a private uh, I record it on a video and upload it privately to YouTube. So you get a link and only people with that link are able to open that. Okay, so don't worry about anybody else ever seeing the reading it unless you, uh, you know, hand them that link. And then uh, for any of you that are looking to get into tarot, you want to learn, definitely just let me know. Shoot me an email. Um, I'll have everything in the description describing the prices, uh, how to get yourself set up, and we can get into that. I love you guys so much, and I hope that you guys have an amazing month. Let me know how this resonates, and for all of you that have been subscribing, the new subscribers, I love you guys, and you guys are what keeps me afloat, and you guys are the ones that give me energy on days like today where I'm running off of two hours of sleep, but these readings need to get done, okay, because it was either you guys get it early or get it a little bit later, and I love you guys so much, and you deserve it early, so take care, and I'll see you guys in a bit.